Hi, I'm Fabian with Sunbelt Transmission, so thanks for stopping by today. We produce all these videos for you guys to teach as much as we can about transmissions, so if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, push the button below, and here's your video. Thanks for stopping by today. Yes. Hi, I'm Fabian from Sunbelt Transmissions. Thanks for stopping by today. Today we're going to be working on a 2011 Nissan Quest. Uh, it's either the REO FO9B or the JFO11E. Uh, this transmission, we've already torn it down, we've done our inspections, we've cleaned all our parts, and we're ready to assemble. We've upgraded and put the piston seals in. We went ahead and did the upgrades, preparing just to assemble it at this point. As you can see, we have our forward clutch ready to go. We have our planetaries ready to go, our valve body, our differential. So at this point, I'm going to bring my tech in, Renee, and let's go ahead and restart assembling this transmission. Okay. Now we're ready to go ahead and start assembling this uh, Nissan Quest. What we're gonna do first in, this, in, in the beginning of this video is we're gonna put together the variators first, which are also called the pulleys, and we're gonna show the processes and the steps we go through to make sure that we, that we assemble it correctly. At this point, I'm gonna bring in my tech, Renee, who's got tons of experience. Renee, how you doing today? Hi. He's doing good today. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Renee start, and then I'm gonna grab the camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you some close-up pictures of how we assemble this. That way you can really see how we're doing it and the precautionary uh, steps that we take in order for it not to get damaged. Okay, also the other thing in our video, you're gonna hear Renee speak in Spanish, okay? Which is great because we have Spanish speaking audiences, and so they also wanna hear, but I'll be translating it into English, all right? So let me get the camera and let's get going. Lines up correctly. Sí, lleva esta este separador es como un arandela. Okay, so we have a thrust washer there. Make sure your thrust washer is in place. Importante que cerciorarse que lo tenga. Yeah, it's got to be in position before you put the cover on it. Okay. Y los seals. Tiene dos seals. Okay, so we got the two rings there that he's got to make sure. Now those come in the kit, so make sure you replace them. And the reason the guide pins are there so you don't damage it going down. Now make sure before you put the bolts in, you want to uh, make sure that you uh, bang it down a little bit to center the bearing in the position. Es importante que lleve los estos orines aquí nuevo. Okay, so in the kit you'll get new O-rings. Make sure that you replace them. That's the three bolts we're going to be using for the back cover. He's so going to go ahead and take out his pins, his guide pins. Okay, so I'll be using a 12 socket. So you need a couple pieces of wood just to balance it out and keep it straight. So what Renee just told me was the belt is directional. There's usually an arrow on the belt. And this one's been, been worn off. So what we need to do on this one right here is uh, we know the direction it goes, it goes clockwise. And also what he was saying is on the keys, when you look at the keys, you can see the direction it was going, okay? So you've got to make sure that you put the belt on correctly in, in the right direction. So it would be clockwise with, clockwise with the arrow. So right now what he's going to do is he's putting on the uh, JT1 
uh, tool and what he's doing is he's gonna go ahead and, and uh, open up the pulley so we could slide the belt on easier. This is a process that you should all do instead of trying to force the belt around the pulleys. And this makes sure that the pulleys are gonna be straight when you, when you install the, the belt onto it. Make sure it goes in the right direction, clockwise. See, now he's able to slip on the chain a little bit easier and not have to fight the bearings. He's also going to use one of his guide pins to, to line up his cover. Yep. So what he's doing right now is just seating the bearing into the case. He's, the belt's still loose at this point, which is kind of what you want to be, is you don't want to have it tight when you're trying to do this piece because you could put the bearing in wrong. There we go, I fell in. So 12 again. So we're going to do an air check while we have it at this point, just to make sure that everything seems to be working properly and we got no leaks. So the secondary you do from above. That sounds good. And so our primary is in that hole. And it, there's a 400 pound spring there, so but it's what we're checking for is leaks and it seems to be good, okay? Now that we've verified that we've got no leaks, let's go ahead and, dis and take the jaws off. Okay, so we got the variators back onto the cover and we've air checked them so they're ready to go. So we're gonna move to the next step. Okay. So what he's installing is, he's installing the guide for the stepper motor guide. And what this does is you need to put this in this cover so it goes spring first, then shaft, and then you gotta catch the lip of the secondary.
There we go. It's got it in place now. All right, so our variator now is ready. Hi, this is Fabian again. I hope you liked our video, and please don't forget to subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more videos I'll make. Thank you again, have a great day.